Hey there, Tour Striker Nation. Mark Williamson, the Golf Yogi here. Got a few stretches for you today that are going to start to open up the body, especially where golfers need a lot, and that is coming right through the quad and through the hip flexor. Really important when we get to that finished position, being able to tuck this pelvis under. Another, we're going to work a little bit on just rotation through the thoracic spine, being able to rotate those shoulders and chest. And another one, my favorite thing to talk about, opening up the hamstrings. Hamstrings are really important for everybody, not just golfers. But where it really affects golfers is if we have very tight hamstrings, those hamstrings are going to pull into our glutes, into the hips, and start to get rid of this natural curve in our spine. And when we start to lose that, it makes it a lot more difficult to rotate and maintain a good posture. So, good little progression you can go through here. We're going to start in what we call a crescent B pose in yoga. So what we want to look for here is to make sure that we end up with the knee right on top of the ankle. You don't want to have this knee way in front of the ankle or, or have the foot way, way out there in front of the knee. So as we start to sink into this, all we're going to do, take our hands, start to press the quad away here, start to sink the hips low. So a lot of people want to lean into this stretch. We actually want to sit up nice and tall. Use your breath to come in and out of it. So inhale, come out a little bit. Exhale, sink right back into it again. Opening up all through this left hip flexor through the left quad. Should feel really good. Start to lengthen all the way through that quad muscle. Where we can go from here, make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. We're going to take that left hand outside of that right knee. Start to twist up. So make sure a couple of things here. One, we don't want the knee coming way in towards the center line. Two, we don't want the knee falling way out. We want to keep that knee directly above the ankle. And then we want to rotate. We want to sit up nice and tall through the crown of our head, almost like when mom's measuring you when you're a little kid. We want to sit nice and tall with this. Get a lot of length there. And again, inhale, we release a little bit. Exhale, you can twist a little bit deeper. Should feel this through the spine, a little bit through the back, maybe a little bit into the shoulders. But again, doesn't matter how far this arm is going, we want to rotate the chest over this hip. Again, use the breath, inhale, release, exhale, twist. Then one more from here, guys. We're going to shift back into this left leg, straighten the right. And when we get here, most people want to go here. It helps us save our balance when we point the toes. We want to pull those toes back towards us. That flexes the foot, gets us nice and engaged. So for some of us, this might be enough right here. Sitting nice and tall, you can maybe lean forward, feel a big stretch into the hamstring. If you want to, you can also take the hands to the quad, maybe to the ground. You want to get some movement through here, kind of rock a little bit. Even if you're sitting up really tall with this, start to move, start to change the angle of the hips and the pelvis. It's going to get into that hamstring a little bit better for us. And again, just play around with this. We're not trying to get the nose down here to the knee. We're trying to go out with this. That's going to get us length through that hamstring. And hopefully get rid of some of that tension that we have pulling all the way up into the glutes and the hips. So, Everything that we do, guys, we balance it out. So once you go through that with the right leg, same thing. Get that left leg up, press that knee forward, sink into it. Just balance it out one side and the other. Whatever you do on one side, we're going to go ahead and mirror it to the other. So hopefully these help you out, guys. Give them a shot, start to loosen up that body, hopefully get out, play a little bit better golf.